but I'd have to either use it as a like a token or something. It's happening. Enter the password. Doesn't look like I can go any further without the password. What now? I'll use brute force attack. I'll take a guess. Brute force attack! Because why not? Uh... Huh. Looks like a security system that's triggered when the wrong password is entered. My only hope is to ask someone who might know the password. So, hey friend, do you know password? It's password. I don't know it. Just go ask him. <laughs> Something to help you guess? Hmm. I don't know if this will help. But there's a phrase he always like, he says when he talks about in his dreams. Butchered that. I don't know what language is, definitely not English. It was difficult to remember at first, but I've heard it so many times now. It sounds something like, Kusant Kawaposi of Vidintu? But I'm not sure about the spelling. Alrighty. Do do do. Ah, you found it? So it's Latin. We made the university. We swore we'd make our dreams come true together. We joined the same company and worked really hard, but he's taken things too far now. Please help him. Don't need to redo that. I assume. If that's the password, the shutdown should work, right? Please. Serve my friend. I will do that as soon as I can get an encounter in this area. Preferably something that's not those two that we've been seeing the entire time. Nope. I, is, I should just run from them, honest, in all honesty. Ah, uh, Patushki. Alright, let's get going. Yes, Otamamon. Unless there's another area, which I would be happy for. But we don't know. Enter the password. I'll try the password the client told me about. I did it. Password verified. Ah, yeah. Go dance. Oh, boogie. I wasn't standing on the platform, excuse me? Who, who are you? I know not who you are. Is there any special here, hidden things here? That this is a no? That's what I'm talking about. We got ourselves a Padamon. We did it, guys. <laughs> got something new. Although, I think I had a Seraphimon in the, in the last game, too. Or at some point. I th again, I think. Again. Keep giving me presents. I mean... I don't not like them. They're amazing. There's probably nothing down this way, but we'll go have a look anyway. Do, 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 do. Don't do it now. He didn't deserve that. He just needed one bonk to the head, not two. Poor. Poor. So, Pokemon? Yes. Oh. It was late to a party. I would have liked to have gotten you too, but Padamon came first. Alright, you. What's happening? Mud Fuchimon. Of course that's what your name is. Who are you? The user of this computer asked me to not let anyone near here. Uh, he just wants to get on with his work. I can't let you interrupt him. Oh, you and me are about to have babe. Issues, my friend. Huh. Well, this isn't gonna work too well. What better than I expected it to? Ow. How dare you? Set knuckle or one? Knuckles from the heavens. And. Smack him in the face. He down. It's too easy. I don't know if the USBs need to be in battle to be effective or not. Looking at the XP, I might say they 
probably need to be. I I lost. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, I'll leave, as long as you don't interfere with his work. Huh. Something made him desperate. He wanted people to acknowledge him. So he started working on his computer night and day. Hehe, <laughs> humans are funny things. They have free will, yet they let themselves be treated like puppets to make others think more highly of them. I just lent that puppet a hand. Okay. Then carry on working. I mean... Technically we're getting paid to stop him from working. Oh dear. Let's get let's the the let's re, let's be rebellious. I'll just leave if that's what he wants. I'll go back and update the client. Uh oh. We're gonna be in trouble. Hello, have you shut down his PC? Actually, something's happened since we last spoke. Oh of course it did. Not long, not long after I told you about the password, he collapsed and was taken to the hospital. I've just arrived. He's fine though, luckily it's not life threatening. Sorry all your efforts have been for nothing, but I think it is, this is for the best. His body shut down before we could shut down his computer. Please consider this case over. Ah, of course my decision didn't matter. Although, now he's saying he's useless and wants to quit his job. What? He seems to have made up his mind. He's even written his letter of resignation. Well, his password, whatever. It means they can because they think they can. After everything that's been he's been through and now collapsing up like this, his confidence must have really taken a heavy blow. I'll say. Something made him desperate? Did you learn that after getting into his PC? I agree. He certainly seemed desperate. To tell you the truth, he was so desperate because of me. What? Our company held a competition a while ago. We both took part. Luckily I did well, but he wasn't so fortunate. Now that I think about it, it was right after that competition that he became glued to the computer. So it's your fault, even though he already said that. I don't want him to give up on his dreams. We swore we'd make them come true together. I think I'll have another talk to him, with him about this, about his dreams. Even if he quit his job, there will be still other ways for him to achieve his dreams. To be honest, I don't know how he'll respond. But there's something I need to tell him. Anyway, thank you for your help. Goodbye. What a crazy bunch. Or lot, because it's two of them. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we did it. Alright. Do we want to go to one of these? Suja cheating in mass using high tech equipment. I need to stop that. Can you help? Yeah, I hit the wrong button. I would like to see what study room is, yes. Please, thank you. It's a case from an Odin teacher. He never taught me, but he might recognize my face. Wait a second, would it be a study room be like a server sort of thing? I don't think it would be a good idea to talk to him. I'll ask Ryuji to do it. Stop shaking in your boots. A case from a teacher at your old high school. I see your predicament. <sighs> I'm ashamed. I'll talk to him for you if you want. You stay outside. Thanks Ryuji. I like how they grab a phone to the head and put it to the head and then immediately pull it away. Pleased to meet you. Thank you for taking my case. I'm Matsuyama. I teach Japanese at Ayodin High School. I'm also the guidance counselor. I contacted you to investigate an incident of group an incident of group cheating in a certain class. How is they cheating? I don't know I don't want news of this getting out. Students' futures are extinct. Stake, not state. Whatever you do, don't let the police know. I understand. Please give me the details. We've discovered that a group of students cheated on the last midterm test. All 40 students in the class were involved. Wow. Shouldn't you just punish them? We have no evidence and don't know how they did it. So we can't punish them. How do you know they cheated then? Exactly. 
grade 3 plus C's test results improved very suddenly, and their answers to the essay questions were identical. Maybe they used phones or digivices, or maybe they somehow got hold of the questions before the test. Students are forbidden from having electronic devices on them during the test, and a student did try to steal the test paper, but he failed. Since that incident, the test papers have been kept under lock and key, but that hasn't stopped the, this class from cheating somehow. I'm certain they found a way to smuggle in a small device and use it to cheat. Then why not single out one student, put the pressure on, and get them to confess? The one who tried to steal the test paper, for example. If it was Shinobu from grade 3 class C, we'd have already we've already talked to him about him multiple times. But he just keeps saying he doesn't know anything about it. He won't say anymore. Kids in the class bully him into doing things for them. We've tried dealing with it, but they're threatening him not to tell anyone. Putting pressure on him and trying to get a confession would just make this situation even worse. But why not ask someone else then? So it won't do anything until, we've, until we have hard evidence. We can't just rush in and solve problems with force like teachers did back in the old days. This is true. It must be tough being a teacher these days. It certainly is. So what do you think about this incident? I'd like to hear your views. Sounds like they use some kind of device. You don't say. There are ones now that are smaller than a pea. Okay. But I doubt high school students would be able to get their hands on anything that sophisticated. If they did, not even a st strip search would be able to find them. There are limits on what you can be detected by the naked eye. Have you considered approaching a specialist? Of course we tried that. We hired someone to deploy a body scanner at the classroom door. He didn't find anything. The students sure are cunning. You're our last hope. We're willing to pay whatever you ask. Please help us. Seems like we're the right people for this job. We'll investigate how the students pulled it off. Thank you. Please contact me as soon as you find anything. We'll start by running background checks on all the students. All 40 of them. This is going to be hard work. That goes for you too, Carter. You did take this case after all. Yep, I got this. Yuji wants me to ask students from other classes about grade 3, class C. No one in the third grade should know me. I hope. Still, better be careful. And not a single person in sight has an exclamation mark. Because of course they don't. So there's one dude down here. Grade 3, class C. I don't really know... I don't really want anything to do with that class. I have most of the bad kids in third grade are in that class. I even saw a group of them yelling at a boy named Shinobu who was in my class last year. Alrighty. Let's delve deeper into the city. As well as just talk to the guy that's across the street. Huh? Anything strange about the kids in grade 3 class C? I've got a friend in class C. He started wearing contact lenses all of a sudden, which is weird, because his eyes, the eyesight always, has always been fine. When I asked him when he started needing glasses, he said he, he doesn't, but still has to wear them. Don't know what's up with him. They're using the glasses! We found our information just then, then and there. And more people? Yes. Grade 3 class C? That's the class next to mine. You looking for gossip about them? I ever heard them saying everything's going perfectly thanks to the to the rabbits. I had no idea what they were talking about though. Or maybe they said mice? Whatever they said, it was some kind of small furry animal. What did you find, Ryuji? How's it going? Found anything? Yep. Great. Tell me when you get back. Sorry for making you go. Didn't any of the students recognize you? It's fine. It was okay. But I was really nervous. I was terrified. Sorry to hear that, but I think asking you to handle my part of the investigation would have been asking too much. While you were asking around, I found out some of the things about the hacking tool. Let's 
permitted Hudi to share what we found and discuss how to proceed. Sounds good. Several days later. Alrighty. Have there been any developments? Yes, we've identified the tool they used to cheat. What is it? It's called a mole. It's extremely dangerous and its sale has been banned. We found that 40 of them have been recently purchased on Eden's black market. The exact number of students in grade 3 class C. How can a convenient... That's what I wanted. Right, my colleague investigated where they were shipped to. It's an area where the students in that class live. It appears that the students conspired to acquire this band Moltal. What exactly is it? It's a miniature wearable computer, basically a mobile device that you can wear. It lets the user log into Eaton from anywhere. It's impossible to tell if someone's wearing one just by looking, even the latest scanners can't detect it. It's not only small, but incredibly hard to see. It makes, it's made from materials that are, are almost indistinguishable from the human body. How is it worn? It's like a set of contact lenses and earpieces. They're worn on the surface of the eye and in the ear. So that's why we didn't notice it. I never knew such a thing existed. But why has it been banned? People have run into trouble while, logging, while logged in with the device. Transferring money to an unknown account, attacking strangers in the street, things like that. But all those arrests have no memory that all those arrested have no memory of those things taking place. So what's going on? Does wearing a mole make you go insane or something? No, but hackers are behind it. Hacking a mole user allows you to temporarily control their actual body for some reason. That's crazy. How is that possible? No one knows. Even the manufacturer in Kamishira haven't been able to figure it out. That's why it's been banned. It's possible that it sends signals to nerves and muscles, muscle tissue somehow, but that's only conjecture. Electrical signals control the movement of the human body, and very little is known about the digitalization of mental data in Eden. How could something so dangerous fall into the hands of kids? We have to confiscate them, and soon. Of course, but don't do anything yet. If we tri tip our hands, some of the kids might get rid of the devices. To make sure we don't miss a single one, we need to catch them right-handed. You're right, but how? When's the next test? Tomorrow. It's the first of the finals. Good. Give the test, give the test as normal and we'll catch them in the act. Understood. Stopping the cheating is important, but please make confiscating the moles your top priority. Got this. Tomorrow we'll log into Eden and find the students using the moles. We'll have to detect, detect, determine if they are using the moles to cheat. Got it. But why would they use such a dangerous tool just to cheat on tests? There might be another reason. I think you're onto something, Yuji. How are things on your end? All four students are in the classroom. Has the test started? Yes, they've started writing. It doesn't really look like they're cheating. Alright, here I go. Ah, uh, they're probably there's probably they're probably connected up to one person that's writing everything. Okay, I mean, just as we thought, they're all in Eden. But how? They're all taking the test. A hacker must be controlling them. I think I get it now. What's going on? There's no time, I'll explain later. Just continue the test for now. Kaitha, do you know where the students are? I got this. I got the URL. So they've skipped out on the test and hidden in that place. It's only natural. They'd get caught right away in the in any of the public areas. Let's hurry. They'll disappear when the test finishes. Does it really take that long to transfer in Eden to places? It seems absurd. Da, da, da. We got another one. 
I'm spawned poop. Alright, so that's my way out. No, it's not. What's up here? Got some kids up there. What's this one? It looks like there's no power. Oh, okay. Sure then. Just do that to me. Uh, wait, aren't those kids in Class C? They're talking about something, but we're too far away to hear. There are probably more kids inside. We can't let them get wind of us. So how can we get closer without noticing us? This is cyberspace, and we're hackers. There must be a way. Oh, there he is, Ryuji. 